Yeah, that sound right there, that means it is time to verify. Mask mandates come and go, but there's one important tool that remains. COVID-19 tests. Yeah, there is a false claim floating around on social media right now saying they can cause cancer. Well, that's not true. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills takes the claim to three experts to verify why. OK, here are two examples of false claims that COVID tests can cause cancer. It's something our experts are aware of. The fact that this is something circulating is puzzling to me because what makes medicine safe is that it's done in a sterile fashion. So we know that this claim is false from our sources. Dr. Amish Adalja, a senior scholar at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security, Dr. Jessica Shepard, the chief medical officer for Very Well Health, and Dr. Joe Gastaldo, an infectious disease specialist at Ohio Health. So the claim is that COVID-19 tests are sterilized with a chemical that's a carcinogen and therefore can expose you to it. That chemical? Ethylene oxide. It's used for all types of medical instruments. Ethylene oxide is officially listed by federal agencies as a carcinogen, and it's actually a potent neurotoxin. Uh, however, when we use it in products that have been sterilized, there's really nothing there that causes any kind of concern. And yes, that gas is toxic if you're exposed to it as a gas form, but it's not something that you're exposed to when you are having a uh, some kind of instrumentation done to you that had been sterilized with ethylene oxide. There should be no concern with causing cancer from using a COVID-19 swab because it was sterilized in ethylene oxide. Our sources say COVID-19 testing remains an important tool to get through this pandemic. The mask mandates are going to ebb and flow, but testing will always be available. Have something you'd like us to verify? Send us an email to verify at 10tv.com. With your verify, I'm Lindsay Mills.